Hey all, it's Linda. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be doing a video idea that I recently saw on my friend Heather Austin's channel. I'm of course going to link her video down below in the description box, but I want to tell you about 20 makeup and hair care products under $20. Did I just say under $20? Under. That's a, it's a new word. We're starting off strong. <laughs> So a good chunk of these products are going to be considered higher end products because I feel like when I first started getting back into makeup, back in my day, ask me my teeth and my Geritol. But when I started really getting into makeup, there were two varieties of makeup. You either had extremely high end, you had Dior and you had Mac and you had things that were quite expensive, or you had drugstore. There was one or the other. There weren't a whole lot of indie brands that were well known and if they were finally known, they were kind of hard to find out about and it just wasn't as widely known. So all of these products range in price between $3 and $20. So I do say 20 under 20. Technically, there are a few products that are $20 on the mark, but what that means to me is that when these items go on sale, and they always do, these will always be under $20. And I think I only have like two things that are exactly 20, but we're gonna get into all that. But if this is your first time to my channel, hi, my name is Linda and I'm a cruelty-free beauty YouTuber. Always wanna help you decide whether or not makeup, skincare, hair care products are worth your money. Whether they're drugstore price, luxury, high-end, I just want you to spend your money wisely but also this is my very first low buy year. So I'm kind of taking you all on a journey with me as I just become a little more cognizant and a little more paying attention to what I'm bringing into my collection, making sure it's something that really either sparks joy or is really unique to my collection or making sure just that I really want it. But I'm also focusing on recognizing and using all of the good stuff that's already in my collection. So to be honest, this video making it was a really good exercise in that because I was able to look and go, oh my God, I have so many products that are so amazing that are worth so much more than $20, but they are only $20. So that was really cool for me to do this. But as you're watching this video, if you're into that whole vibe, I would love if you hit subscribe and become a part of the Rockstar fam. I'm going to try to insert b-roll here and there to show you up close shots of what these products look like, but let's jump into this. The first thing I want to start off with, and I have mentioned this in the past before, is how when I first started getting into makeup, again, brushes were something that I had to personally save up for to get good quality brushes. Yes, you could probably get them at paint stores. A lot of people I knew bought their makeup brushes at Michael's and Joann's and places like that. But if I wanted a real makeup brush, I really had to save. And one that comes to mind is this. This was an old Mac brush from when I used to use Mac. I easily bought this, I would say probably close to 20 years ago. It's definitely, oh, it's definitely falling apart. I don't know if you can see the hair that just came out, but this brush was like close to $50 for one brush. And granted, it did last me a long time, but now there are makeup brushes that will last you as equally a long time and are so much more affordable. So one that came to mind was this set. So this is the Moda Totally Electric Five Piece Complete Face Kit. So you get four brushes and a pouch, and this is less than $20. This is $19.99 for four brushes and a pouch. And this is only one of the many sets that they have that's under $20 most of their stuff is so, so affordable. And even the packages of brushes where you get like 30 brushes in one or 40 brushes, they are all so reasonable and affordable. I do have a code for this where you can get even more money off and everything's gonna be linked in the description box below, everything I talk about. But I love the quality of motor brushes. I have so, so many that I use. They come in these like cool, unique designs. This one was like a unicorn. This one has mermaid scales. Just the quality is really good. There we go, the my rose one. It's just, they're so freaking fantastic. You would never know that these are cruelty-free brushes because they feel so good, they feel so real, and they are so freaking fantastic. Any colors that you want, any style you want, you want eye brushes, we got you. You want face brushes, oh, we're on top of that. But I personally really like the Totally Electric line. I actually have a bunch in my case that I use on a regular basis. This is an extra for a future giveaway, but like I just love Moda brushes. I think they're really fantastic. And whether you're a pro or whether you're just starting out in makeup, I think you'll be happy with these. Let's keep on that makeup train and let's go right into makeup. So for cheeks, let's talk about some blushes and things along those lines. I 
love the Glossier Cloud Paints, and I feel like not enough people talk about these anymore. These used to be so revolutionary in the makeup world because all anybody had were powder blushes, and then Glossier came out with these liquid cream blushes. I'm hesitant to call them cream because when I think of cream blushes now, I think of something that's very emollient, maybe in a pot or in a pan, and these squeeze out of a tube. So I do have two, I almost said flavors, don't eat these please, don't eat them. But I have Dusk and I have Beam and these are just stunning. The best part, these are only $18 each and while that might sound kind of expensive for how small they are, I don't want to tell you how long I've had these, okay? I bet you there's a shelf life, yeah, they say six months. I've definitely had them longer than six months, okay? And they still work perfectly. They have lasted me so long freaking long. Now, you could easily say that, okay, you know what, six months, I'm paying like $3 a month for these. That's not too bad. These are just really, really fantastic. I highly recommend these. Sticking on the blush train. Now, this sort of goes into highlighter, so maybe we'll go into highlighter next, but this I never hear anyone talk about this and it bothers me so much and I only have one shade of this, I'll be honest, but this is the Essence Blush Lighter and the shade that I have is Nude Twilight. So as you can see, we have a gradient here from lighter to a bit deeper. This is kind of more of a shimmery highlighter and then it goes into a matte blush. I like to swirl these together. I am wearing it today. You can kind of see that glow, like look at that beautiful glow and that beautiful color and that came all from this. These are so, so good and they are six dollars each. Six freaking dollars for these amazing blush highlighter duos. Like I feel like so many companies now are doing that blush highlighter, you know, thing, the split pan, and I feel like they've just done it so well and no one is paying attention. So if you are into like a glowy blush situation, if you're into a matte blush, I would probably stay away from this because the highlighter does blend again into that matte blush. But like for me, I like to be glowing for the gods like a greased up turkey out of the oven and this, this does the trick for me. Also, I'm sorry if you just hear something that sounds like craziness going on behind me. The kittens, the kittens had their lunch and they're now going insane. Yeah, maybe this is a good time to get one of them to say hello. Let's see. We found one, we got a haggis. We got a little baby haggis. He looks like a dancing cat and that's cause he wiggles his butt like that. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. They're very good. Yeah, Piper's going crazy. Okay, go ahead, go back to your brother. Let's move on to highlighter. I have talked about this several times as well on my channel and I can't talk about it enough. This is the Flower Beauty Spotlight Liquid Highlighter. So this has kind of a puff ball at the end and you squeeze the product out and it just makes the most beautiful highlight. One big thing about this that everyone has noticed is that this is a very strong dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury highlighting wands except that this is $13. The quality is amazing. I will say the shade range is a little like, eh, there's only three shades as far as I know, but the quality is so good. What I like to personally do is I take this and I'll dab just like two or three dots here and pat it in with my finger. And the glow it gives is so beautiful and so intense, but it looks not glittery. It just kind of blends into the skin and then it dries down and it doesn't budge. Like, I can't sing the praises of these highly enough. I really can't, they are so fantastic. And if you're a fan of cream highlighters, I would really suggest this one. It's very beginner friendly and because it dries down, it's not gonna smear everywhere, which some other liquid highlighters do. So really good pick whether you're a beginner or a pro. All right, we're kind of moving right along here. So this item, I will say that this is something that is on sale right now at the time that I'm filming this for 50% off on the website of the brand it's from. And that makes me a little nervous because I wonder if this is something they're getting rid of. But this is the NYX High Glass Primer. If you're a fan of a glowy primer, like for example, a lot of people like to talk about, uh, it used to be the Becca Backlight Priming Filter or the Auric Glow Lust or the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. That, to be fair, has a little bit of a thicker consistency. This is a fantastic glowy primer and it does spread out evenly. It does spread out thinly and it doesn't look streaky. It doesn't look glittery at all. It just gives your skin a nice glow. So I like to use this under my foundations. Sometimes I'll mix it in with foundations, but usually I just wear this underneath and it smooths everything out nicely, holds everything in place. And right now it's on sale for $8.50. This has lasted me so long. Again, 
says it has a 12 month shelf life and I'm just going to say that I've had it for longer than that. I'm not gonna tell you how long. I'm not gonna tell you because then you'll judge me and I don't feel like being judged because this is a safe space. But if you're into a glowy foundation, this is a really fantastic product. Let's move on to the eyes because I have a bunch to talk about. So I'm pretty sure this is the most inexpensive thing on my list. This is the e.l.f. Bite Size Eyeshadow Palette and I have it in Hot Jalapeno, which is by far, in my opinion, the best one. They have plenty of neutral ones. If you're into the neutrals, go for it. They've got you, boo. They've got a lot of pink tone neutral palettes like cookies and sugar and cream, coffee and cream. I don't know what they're freaking called. Berries and cream, berries and cream. All that to say, Hot Jalapeno is the best one. You can see I dug my big finger into the gold, but this quality, this quality is mind blowing. And the fact that it is $3 is even more mind blowing. I would not be surprised if you were relabeling this formula as Natasha Denona and charging 25 bucks for it. I would have bought it because it's that damn good. And this one has just fantastic, like, you know, you've got this super shimmery gold, you've got a shimmery olive green, and then you have two mattes. You have the lighter olive and then the deep olive. I, just, I can't even say enough good things about it. It's just like, it's eyeshadow perfection and it's three effing dollars. As far as another eyeshadow palette, I'm gonna warn you that the one I'm gonna show you is really gross because it's probably one of my most used eyeshadow palettes, if not the most used. Also, at the time I'm filming this, this is on super sale, so maybe it'll still be on sale, but this is the Nubian palette by Juvia's Place. And as far as just regular neutral palettes go, this is the best one that I have personally used under $20 hands down. The quality is so good. It rivals high-end palettes that I have. I feel like this is kind of a warm tone dream that works on so many skin tones and so many eye colors and just it's so easy to use. I used it to create my look today. I did use another eyeshadow which we're going to talk about but the quality just blends itself. It just blends itself. Full price this is $20 on the dot. Right now as I'm filming this, it's on sale for $14.50 and this is always on sale. So if you're interested in this and it's not on sale at the time you look, hang out for like a week. Like bookmark the link that I put down in the description box and save it for another time and go back and check. It goes on sale so often and it is so worth it. Like look at this. This is one of my favorite eyeshadow shades of all time. It's what I use to blend out my crease. It's just, it's uh, like chef's kiss perfection. Now this, this is, this is one of the best eyeshadows I own of all time, okay? And I've had it for a long time. It's what's all over my lid today. And this is the Sugar Pill Loose Shadow in Goldilocks. And this is the best gold eyeshadow in my collection, hands down. It is beyond metallic. And when you wet your brush, it looks like liquid gold on your eyelids. Like you can see, it's just so beautiful and it doesn't come out chunky. It is so finely milled and it's sparkly and it's metallic and it's just, it's perfect. It's perfect. It is definitely one of my favorite eyeshadows that I own and this whole pot is $14, okay? It's $14 and I have had this one for years and years at this point. So many years and it has just lasted me and it is like, I wish you could see, it's filled to like almost all the way and I've used this more times than I can count. If you're looking for a gold shadow, if you like gold shadow even a little bit, is this the product I recommend the most out of this whole list? I, I recommend all these though. I can't, I can't pick a favorite and you can't make me choose, okay? But I genuinely love this. It's so good. Here's something else that I feel like has really slipped under the radar and I'm kind of surprised by this. So these are from Ofra and they are called Bossy Eyes and they are their liquid shadows. My two favorites are these two. So we have New Money, which is this dark green with kind of an olive golden sparkle in it and then Fortune, which is just a gorgeous gold. It is so lovely. Oh, I love it. And I love using both of these as a base under shadows or just by themselves. But what I like to do, I pat them on very thinly and I let that dry down completely. And then I will go back in and kind of touch up if there's any spots that need it because you know, liquid shadows can be hard like to just do one swipe and they're perfect. But these kind of buffed all over the eyelid as a one and done. Oh my God, so, so beautiful. And Again, I don't understand why no one talks about these. These are only $15 each and I can guarantee these will last you so, so, so long. There is so much product in here and a little bit goes a very, very long way. All right, I hope I don't get crap for this one because I know that there's gonna be people out there that tell me that there are more inexpensive options than this. But 
One makeup item that I am personally very picky about is black pencil eyeliner. And that is because there are so many that claim how creamy and long lasting they are, but they are just absolute shit. They're just complete shit. Whether you spend $50 on them or a single dollar on them, there are so many that are complete crap. So when I find an eyeliner that goes really smoothly on my waterline and stays there, I'm hooked and that's the way it happened with this one. So this is the Tarte Easy on the Eyes. This is actually from their Sugar Rush collection and it is $20 on the dot. But when I tell you that I just have to take this and put it once on my waterline and it just stays all day, I mean it. And that is so important to me because I, I'm not gonna touch up my waterline ever. It's not a thing I'm gonna do, I'm just not into it. It kind of checks all of my boxes, right? It's just perfect for me. It is just opaque. It is matte, it does what it needs to do and you don't need to mess with it once it's on. So that's really all I can ask for. All right, let's talk about a mascara. So this one is interesting to me because when I first reviewed it on my channel, I think I was just kind of like met about it. It was just kind of there. But I always try to use things, of course, more than once, once I buy them, to really give them the chance because a first impression is just that, it's a first impression. This is a drugstore mascara that I have fallen absolutely in love with. And this is the e.l.f. Big Mood Mascara. So it does have a hair brush rather than a plastic brush. And it makes my lashes so voluminous and so separated. Like I'm wearing it right now. I feel like you can layer it nicely. It doesn't flake away on me. Now, is this my favorite mascara of all time? Not necessarily. It's just a really, really good drugstore mascara and it's eight bucks. It is eight freaking dollars and just, it's fantastic. It's not too wet of a formula either, which is something that I really don't like. I don't like it when you have to sit there with your eyes like this after you put on mascara because you're scared it's gonna get everywhere. I can put on like four layers of this bitch and it's not going anywhere. Did I just call mascara a bitch? Yes. And my last eye product. <laughs> It's funny, again, because this is something that when I first tried it, I think I actually almost hated it. I don't even think I put it on my channel because I think I hated it, but I learned to love this so much that this is now my second tube or maybe my third. I think it might be my third tube. So this is the NYX Brow Glue. It is just a little tube and it comes with a little spoolie. It looks very much like mascara. And this is what it says it is. It is glue, okay? It dries clear, you don't have to worry about it, but the bristles make it so easy to brush your hairs into place and they stay there. They just stay there and my brows are so unruly. So you might know that I did get brow lamination, but it has now been about five weeks since I got it. So the brow lamination is pretty much almost gone. And this still holds my brows into place, makes them look fluffy and my brows are not fluffy, okay? I'm a victim of the 90s where I plucked my eyebrows into Drew Barrymore oblivion. The way that I like to apply this, and I might be kind of in the minority here, but I will brush this through and get my brows to where I want them. And then I will take a makeup brush and press them into place that leaves them staying there all day. They're not budging until you take off your makeup at night and you better take off your makeup at night because if I find out that one of you guys is one of the people who like sleeps on your couch in the makeup every night, I'm coming to your house and I'm taking your makeup off and then I'm gonna tuck you and then I'm gonna give you a cup of sleepy time tea because that's my favorite tea. If you're looking for something that's gonna hold unruly brows in place, I really recommend this. This is a fantastic product. I will continue to buy this and pray to the living gods they don't ever discontinue it. All right, you guys, let's go to lip stuff. So let's start with lip liner. I am also very picky with lip liner, okay? I want a creamy as hell lip liner. My lips are very dry and also I'm 41 years old, so my lip line is not as solid as it used to be when I was younger. So I require something creamy and not something that drags across my lips at all. And I want something that is creamy that will last. And I have found that in the Melt Cosmetics Perfectionist Lip Pencils. So I will say these are $17 each, but I've seen them on sale multiple times at this point. I have three of them. So I have the red shade, which is Thrill. I have this sort of brown pink shade, which is what I'm wearing today, that is Cinnamon. And then I have Bare, which looks exceedingly light, but I promise you it's just a nice light brown that is sort of my lips, but better. That's what I wear on days where I'm not wearing much makeup. Love these. Love, love, love them. They go on so creamy and I will use these to fill in my lips and then put lipstick on top. And this really helps my lipstick last a very long time. Now, because they are a creamy formula, 
they probably don't last. You know, I hate it when those makeup companies are like, last 24 hours. I'm like, I don't need any makeup to last 24 hours, okay? I am not a 24 hours party person, okay? I am a, you know, like, let's go out for like three hours and then let's, you know, ghost everybody and be in bed by nine party person. So that's all I need for my lip liner, right? I just want it to last a bunch of hours. I want it to be comfortable more than anything. And I just want it to make my lips look nice and polished. So these are really fantastic. If you're looking for a great lip liner that feels maybe a little bougie, feels a little bit high end, but is still under $20. This, oh my God, I feel like a broken record when I talk about this. This is the Derma E Ultra Hydrating Lip Plumping Treatment. Okay, this is $16 and I can't sing the praises of this enough. This plumps the hell out of your lips and makes them look so juicy and thick and just delicious. I love this. I've been applying this almost every single day before I put on my lipstick, my lip liner and everything like that. I will dab a bit of this on my lips as I'm doing maybe my skincare or my eye makeup, things like that. And I let it sit for about five minutes, sometimes five to 10, and then I will wipe it off and put on my other skincare. So this is very, very hydrating, but at the same time, when I wipe it off, I still feel those effects. It really plumps my lips up. Now, I've said this before and I'll say it again. This is one of those lip plumpers you feel, okay? It tingles, okay? It's like cinnamon tingle and it's pretty strong. I don't mind that because I kind of feel like I'm like, oh, I'm doing something. It's like the feel of, if you remember, doo-wop lip venom. <sighs> I'm not going to lie. It almost kind of turns me on. I can't explain why, but fantastic lip plumper. Probably the best one I've used in years, if I'm being honest. And the pump is so good because it's a plastic pump right here. So when you pump it out, you can wipe your finger and put it on your lips and it's just completely clean. You don't have to worry about any other lip products contaminating what's inside. It's just, it's so great and it's so hygienic. Like, I, did I just, did I just pump up the hygienic qualities of makeup? I did. So hygiene in the lip plumper, yes. As far as lipsticks, this is one where I personally know that I need to get more colors because I can't believe I only have two. I thought I had like 10 colors of this. If you like a creamy lipstick, okay, creamy being the optimum word here, this is not matte, which also does mean, to be fair, that it's not gonna last all day because it is so deliciously creamy and hydrating and luxurious. Propa Beauty makes some of the best lipsticks I have ever tried in that realm. So these two shades, they probably look exactly the same on screen, I think they do, but I have Victress and I have Profits, and they are both obviously a brown tone. You can even see the shine in the camera. They are so hydrating and wonderful, and they are $12 each. And these are some of the best lipsticks I've tried in years. They just go on smoothly and opaque. They're not patchy at all. They're comfortable on the lips. And again, they are very creamy. So these will not last you all night through eating and drinking, but they're just so good. So if you're looking for a lipstick that feels super high-end, super luxurious, super bougie, highly recommend Propa Beauty. And my very last lip product, which I will tell you does come in at $19, is the gloss I'm wearing today. Oh, it's one of my favorite glosses of all time. This is the Kasha Gloss Shot. These feel so wonderful on the lips. They are not sticky at all. They just feel really, really hydrating and creamy. And the shine that it gives, I wanna put on more. I can't believe the shine on these. I can't believe it. And they just feel so good that you can layer it and layer it if you want. And it's never gonna feel gross. It's never gonna feel sticky. These are so damn good. Again, this is something I want like, 10 colors of. The only color I have is pink drink and I feel like it's perfect. So this is just literally the melt cinnamon lip liner with this over top. And it's like my perfect kind of nude brownie pink lip. I love it so much and it doesn't get in my teeth, which is a plus for me when it comes to glosses. Muy bueno. All right, let's move on to hair to finish this all off. Now I wanna start with hair dye. Now, if you've been watching my channel for probably like 30 seconds, you probably know what two products I'm about to talk about. The very first one is Arctic Fox. So this is a semi-permanent hair dye and it is part of what I use on my hair to brighten it up. I do go to the salon to get it professionally bleached and I also get my roots colored with permanent dye. Everything else is Arctic Fox, okay? These two colors especially, we have Poison and we have Sunset Orange are my two go-tos. I have two backups on their way to me in the mail as we speak. 
because they are that good. These are a very thick, very conditioning formula. And I use a quite a bit because I have to be honest, like I dye my hair every like two to three weeks just to brighten it up. And I just, I love these and they smell like grape candy. And I don't like the taste of grape candy or the taste of grape soda, but the smell of fake grape, sign me the hell up. I have a whole video talking about these and using these way more in depth in the description box if you wanna check that out. It's under, I think like my most popular videos or something like that. But I really enjoy these. These come in at $18.50 each. Another semi-permanent hair dye that I use very often are the Finola Free Paints. So these are definitely a different formula. You've got this uh, kind of metal tube that you can squeeze out every single last drop of product. So first of all, I love that. I love that. I love the fact that this is a bit of a thinner formula so that when it goes in my hair, all I have to do is work it through with my fingers really uh, in depth and it spreads out so much. So you need not as much of this as I feel like you might need of the Arctic Fox because it's not as much of a conditioner as it is like almost a gloss. You put it in your hair and it really does shine you up, but the color is so beautiful. And what I don't understand is that right now, as I'm filming this, these are on sale for $4.99. Like you can't even get drugstore hair dye for that price. And this is so much better for you. So this is ammonia free. This is oxidant free. It's just fantastic. So my favorite colors are orange shock. And I think the red is called fiery red. I'm out of it right now. I need to get more, it's stressing me out. But I really enjoy these. I think the quality is really, really good. Not a whole lot of people talk about these. And again, I do have a video on my channel talking all about this. I will link it right up here in the cards so you can check that out if you want. But these are really, really great. We have two more products. And the first one is what I use to make my hair textured and big. And to be honest, my hair is neither of those things naturally. And that is the Verb Volume Dry Texture Spray. And this retails for $20, but I often see this on sale as well. I love this. I love it so much. Again, as it says, it is a dry texture spray. So it doesn't leave your hair feeling like wet or weighed down. It just perfectly gives you effortless texture. And again, my hair is pinned straight. So when I style it and I want to keep some waves in it and keep some curl in it, I need texture to go throughout these roots and go throughout these ends. And this does a fantastic job. And I find that I don't need as much of this as I do with some other texture sprays. So I feel like a bottle lasts me forever. It smells good. It's a nice even spray. It doesn't leave a white cast. Like this checks every single box that it possibly could. Love it. And finally, my last product is just something that is damn fun. So this is the Eva NYC Queen Glitter Spray. I use this in my hair. I use this on my body. I use this everywhere, especially during the summer. It is what it says it is, okay? It is a glitter spray. And it is just, again, it's just fun. Like it makes your hair sparkle. This is fantastic for parties. This is fantastic for the grocery store. This is fantastic for going to the dentist to get your teeth pulled. Whatever your jam, glitter it up. It's going to make life better. Okay. And I just, I don't know. I really, really like this. And this does have argan oil in it too. So it doesn't feel all dry and nasty. It just feels really good. And it's just fun. So that's it. That is 20 products that are $20 or less. And I hope you enjoyed this. Again, I really liked going through my collection and finding out what worked in this category because it's making me, again, reappreciate the wonderful stuff that I have and how much of it is so affordable when I started with makeup and nothing was as affordable to me. So it's just kind of a really exciting time, I feel like, too, in the makeup world in that it's branching out more. And if you can't afford the really expensive high-end stuff, like if you can't afford a $70 eyeshadow palette, then you can probably afford a $3 eyeshadow palette. So it, I don't know, it just makes me really excited. But one kind of piece of feedback I would like from you all. When I was doing this, I found there was a remarkable amount of stuff in my collection that was between $20 and $25, which is such a small little area but there are so many great products that fit in that little tiny box. Would you guys be interested in a video of those things? Because there were some gems in there that again, were right between 20 and $25, such a specific thing, but like it kind of surprised me. 
So that's it. If you have suggestions for other people who might be watching this video, leave them in the comments down below. Like let's all share the wealth and share the knowledge, please, because I know that not everyone again has the same budget. So let's kind of, you know, share our knowledge. <laughs> But again, everything I talked about today is listed and linked in the description box down below. And if you do decide to purchase any of these products and you do use those links, thank you so, so much. That is just such a help and it really does help out my channel. You all can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Those are all Glitter Fallout. And as always and forever, you are super freaking rock stars. I love you so much with my whole heart and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.